Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Fahrenheit. I'm Azurila, and let's get this started. Okay, let's go. Alright, new login. Yep. Nope. Alright, so this game was made by uh, Quantic Dream, and it was also directed by uh, David Cage. If you're familiar with them, uh, they're the people who made Heavy Rain. So let's let's start this uh, auditorium. Let's start. Yeah, I remember uh, playing this in 2006 when I was uh, in eighth grade. I had it for PlayStation 2, and it was the American version, uh, Indigo Prophecy. Uh, there isn't, there aren't any uh, differences that are like huge. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. Uh, well, My name is Lucas you can take drugs, I guess. My story is the one where an ordinary guy stuff has different. something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Glowy. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? Your butt. New York, capital of the universe. So yeah, your butt. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Bird. How's he flying through the snow? Those look, look like huge pieces of snow. The dog's dying. He's peeing. It's a creepy bird watching him pee. Man, he has a lot of pee. Where'd he drink? Oh. Whoa, this blood. Switching. In a knife. Whoa. He didn't even flush. What the heck? Things all negative. How can you not see him? Like he's in the mirror. Look, he's behind you. Oh, oh. He could have easily like ran away or something, you know. It's his fault he got up. He's, he's stupid. Is there a chick? Is he like thinking about the chick? Is he like a pedophile or something? What? 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 
have I done? Gotta get out of here but before somebody comes in here. Okay. Let's watch up. Dead guy. Yeah, it's really weird transitioning from a PlayStation version to like the PC. Yeah. Well, I guess it's you know it's really different, it's like weird transitioning from any console game to like playing out PC. Let's get that knife. The knife. Right. I've got to get rid of it. Probably clean that blood. Yeah, get that. No, do it. Heck. Why aren't you doing this? Up down, up down, up down, up down, up down. There you go. The mouse isn't working for some reason. Pretty clean. Yeah, but that broom looks bloody. Can I like, clean it or anything? Hmm. It's okay. Look, look at your blood. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with the knife. Both of my forearms are cut too. Hey, yeah, let's go pee. Oh, I'm gonna make us feel better. Where, where did we sit? There's a bill. Let's pay it. Eat a little bit. Oh, there's like a book there. Oh, let's drink. Right, let's go. Oh, what's this? Coffee. I never drink it. I hate it. Was I with someone? I heard. I can't remember anything at all. What happened to you, Lucas? Right there. Huh, guess not. Well, let's call somebody. Hello, you've reached Marcus Kane. I'm not in at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Alright, let's just casually walk out of here so we don't draw any attention right now. Poor Lucas, he's stressed. Well, I guess I'd be stressed, you know. This happened. Let's not go near that cop. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Well, where do we go? Over here?
Get out of here. Get out of here. Back. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, there's Taxi. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. Got in the taxi. Taxi car. Well, there's a Nobody hobo. goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. Eye, got, like, cut I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Oh, okay. Pretty nice looking car. Doc's dying. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, <laughs> somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carl. She's the boss. In five Here. years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. So I'm guessing you're... You're like in the future, and you're like remembering stuff. So this is the past. Sucked black guy. Good black guy. Black guy. Black guy. Okay, maybe not. Let's go inside. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Uh, Do we have a suspect? suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Which table was the table. suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Uh, Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait Carl's until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. Okay. The black guy, this question. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night, not gotten out till it was all over. That's the problem. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd never leave the house. <laughs> okay, let's be calm again. Here, I'm gonna change my controls a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. Every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? Nah. It's a new one. God, poor John, he was such a nice guy. Whoa. Huh. Yeah. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. 
description. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? <gasps> John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. It's because he wanted you. Do you know whether the victim he was like, had oh, yeah. enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilet? The sound of a struggle or yelling? She probably no, heard this. I didn't notice anything. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. We have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him, and then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. We didn't even sneak. What he happened just next? Walked out. Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. He was on well, something. I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. Deserve I promise to die. we'll do everything in die. our power. Okay, try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night. Talk to you later. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. What's the coffee on? I don't put coffee on the bill. The book. The dentist. Well, yeah, drink a lot of coffee. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Lectures. Garrett, or? there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Traces of blood. The killer was I'm not at sure you're supposed... I don't think you're supposed to, like, touch down stuff, after the you know. Room. I like compromises like the evidence. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Here. Cover. Oh, 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 I'm gonna get. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Om nom nom.
Hello. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. All right, let's go. In the bathroom. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Blood on the mop. Wish you could have must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Let's go where he's taking a dump. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. You know what's weird about like the mental state thingy? It you can never like be happy. Just neutral. Yeah, that's kinda weird. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Alright, let's see what black guy has to say. Okay. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. Oh. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. I don't even see his wallet. How can you... Does he have, like... <laughs> Never mind. Why is he pushing the toilet? Push this toilet. Oh, there's something in there. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives in toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Okay. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Some blood? Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Oh yeah, let's go pee. <laughs> what? This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. <laughs> oh, let me Carla Pence. Let's call somebody. It's me. Did you already fall back asleep? Hey, Tyler. What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? <laughs> I won't be happy, long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. Let's go drink some coffee, too. Whoa, does she have, like, a, a tablet or something? Why'd they have tablets back there? Yeah, it makes you feel better. Up to these guys. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. And she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. This guy. 
Hey, Garrett, Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was gonna keep us up a little longer. Martin says this was the guy's table. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. Looks really gross. Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Oh, I'm happy. Sometimes I'm he's happy unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. <laughs> keep up the good work, Tyler. I think that's good. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. I think so. I think we're good. No, we're let's good. Go. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Dead tired. Run, 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 run. She could be like, hey, who took a Who took a taxi? A taxi? Oh, yeah. The murderer might have come or gone in a taxi. I'm gonna check on the destinations of taxis leaving this area. All right. Okay, let's go. In the car. To Brooklyn. Alright, so that's it for this Let's Play. See you guys later.